Hey everybody, it's Grower Deacon Dave, and we're still growing cannabis here in the great state of Missouri. Alright, so let's talk about what's going on now. It's been about almost a week since our last video. Um, these plants in here are definitely changing colors more and more, getting more and more frost on them. And let's just see if I can get you a little bit of a close-up of these so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about here. There you go. So, they're definitely getting close. I did my first flush with them the other day using Flawless Finish from Advanced Nutrients. Yeah, if you guys would like to sponsor me, I'd love to hear from you. All right, so anyway, you can see these are coming along really nicely. Getting a lot of frost on them for considering the light screw up I did. Let's take a look at the cherry pie a little bit today. We really haven't given them much attention lately, but look at these here. Tell me these aren't pretty good for cherry pie. I've never gotten really a big butt out of them before. And these look pretty dang healthy, and they're all getting nice and hard too. So there's something in the, the bud candy and the, uh, I don't know, maybe there's some other stuff that I'm using too. It's getting this, uh, these buds nice and hard. But look at the colors here. The cherry pie is definitely starting to give me some of that purple and pink there. So, uh, In the back here, we got vanilla frosting and pebble punch kind of mixed in together. You see some of it back there laying down there. A bunch of it laying down in the corner there. And again, we're getting some really good colors. Okay, so again, these sour betties in the front here, we got some really big colas all the way through. Look at this big monster in the back here. I mean, they're like a foot to 14 inches tall and every bit of six or eight inches around. So I'm expecting about three pounds out of this tent now that it's getting closer. I could be wrong, but that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Again, for your memory, this is a 100-gallon fabric pot down here. Really do like what plants do in these big pots like this. So I'm going to show you some stuff I'm doing with some autos here in a minute along the big pot plan as well. Okay, so let's take a look at tent number two. We got the big white widow on the back here. Now, I got a good grower friend named Bear. He he's a talking bear. He talks a lot about growing and he's good. He knows his shit. So when he suggested that I super crop this uh, white widow, even though it was pretty late in flower for me to do it, I said, you know what, I'll go ahead and do it. And I did it. And uh, you can see I bent this sucker down here because it was getting way too close to the light. And if you look at the end, it's already flipped back up again. So it's not having a problem. White Widow can handle a lot of stress. So next to it here, we got a cherry pie. And you can see they're praying pretty well there. Over here, we got Gorilla Glue. Now that same talking bear recommended that I put some buckets under some of these low plants. There's like four of them here that I did that with. So this is one of them here. And it, you know, gets it up above closer to the light here. These two Acapulco goals here, they were way down at the bottom of the floor. Weren't really getting a lot of light, so I put those up on buckets and you can see that they're doing really well. Really thick stalks, if you can see in there. I don't know if you can or not, but the stalks are incredibly thick on these. Then back here in the back, we have a Maui Wowie. And last week it was below that decal. So it's obviously still doing a stretch. Now, interestingly enough, the White Widow went into flower a week before the others, and I think it's done stretching. So thank God, because look at how close we are. We're getting close to the light on even these secondaries here. So now that I've super cropped the top, I think we're gonna be okay on that one. But this Maui still keeps stretching, so. I'm hoping it's going to reach its end pretty soon. Now, in the back corner, we got another Maui Wowie. It's actually got a branch growing behind the fan back there. I don't know if I can really do about it right now. Got another Maui Wowie here in the middle here in the front here. And it really did some stretching recently. It was really low compared to the others, and it just went crazy. So that one's doing pretty good there. This here is future number one. 
lot of people interested in this. It's an interesting plant, a lot of bud sites, um, does a lot of ball buds, you're not going to get big colas out of this, but you're going to get a lot of bud. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of wide, bushy bud areas here. Granddaddy purple. Now again, I was too lazy to even transplant this. It's growing in that little clay pot down there. And I think it's going to do just fine. I'll get plenty out of it. Got a purple cush here. So you can see they're all looking pretty green and healthy. They're digging the advanced nutrients. Now, I put this new FC4800 in last week, and I'm going to tell you within 48 hours, I can literally see a difference in the plants in here. Their color, their uh, leaf attitude, everything went crazy. They started stretching like overnight, crazy stretch. So, yeah, I mean, all I can tell you is this FC4800, Mars Hydro, if you're listening, is a killer light. It really does the job. I got one now on all three light, all three tents. So all three running the Mars Hydro FC 4800s. All right. Now, tent number three is a traditional grow in five gallon pots, nothing crazy. We've got five in the center four by four area and three in the annex area over to the side. Let's talk about this a little bit. We got four of these pillar plants in the corners here. You see one there. Here's another one here. And it's just bursting out everywhere down here. Now I tied it actually not because it was falling over, but I wanted to pull it away from the light a little bit so it wouldn't burn. So it was getting a little too close to the light. Now this one in the center, there's four of these pillar plants. There's one back there in the back corner there, you can see it there. And there's another one up here in the front. Now these were basically grown in solo cups till they were about three and a half, four feet tall, transplanted straight into five gallons and put into flower the same day in this tent. And they ended up growing about 30 inches in flower stretch. So they grew the perfect height. I didn't have to grow them, do any voyage time at all in here. They went straight into flower, and I think we're going to get at least four to five ounces out of each one of these pillar plants. Now in the center here, we've got one holy smoke. These are all holy smoke here in the middle. I got one holy smoke here that I topped a bunch, and I did a bunch of bins on it. And just got a whole lot of secondaries. Now, some of these secondaries are pretty strong. I think that might be the main top there, actually. But some of these secondaries are pretty strong branches all the way through. So, um, we got some good productivity here. I had to tie this bundle up. It was just, here's a ghetto job if you've ever seen one. I had to tie this up because it was literally just laying all over the front of these plants here. So, I just tied this whole bundle up. They only got about a... They've only got about three weeks left. I think they'll be okay. The humidity levels are fine. I don't think we're gonna get bud rot. They'll finish out okay. So these are the holy smokes, and you can just see the color is just beautiful on these. Let's see if I can stop it moving for a little while. There you go. The color on these is just gorgeous. This is a really good smoke. It's pebble punch and uh, animal cookies, so it's strong indica. And uh, it grows really easy. You can clone it real easy. It stretches real nice in flower. Uh, it behaves pretty well all the way through. Okay, over here we got canatonic. Now canatonic is that medical grade I grow. It's basically half CBD, half THC. It's also half uh, indica, half sativa. So it's a really balanced plant. I say that every time I know. All right, so here's, a, here's an example of one of the buds. I've never got it to grow like this before. Again, the new lights and the new nutrients and this canatonic is growing better bud than it ever has. Over here we have a Maui Waui. So it's doing its thing. And in that back corner, we got a Gorilla Glue. And it's already stretching quite a bit since the last week. It's already stretched above the rack there. So I think all these Holy Smokes are done stretching. I'm pretty sure that these over here are pretty much done, although the Gorilla Glue was a late stretcher, so it may may give me a few more inches in the back there, but I'm not too worried about it. We'll get some nice butt off of it anyway. But yeah, these branches are literally falling down here in the front. And if there wasn't the front of the tent to hold them, I would have to tie all these up too. So if you look back in the back there, I did kind of a witch's brew back there on the tie-up job. I tied two strings down to branches, and then I ran a bunch of strings to the strings and basically got those up off of the Gorilla Glue. They were just laying all over the Gorilla Glue. So again... 
big heavy buds and again these are getting very very hard these buds are very very firm there's no airy buds here at all they're getting very 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 hard it's, they still got almost three weeks left so yeah I'm very impressed um, beautiful smell in here so that's tent number three now I told you I was been doing a lot more big pot growing since tent number one did so well on its own so what I did here is I put five purple lemonade autos in a 20 gallon so think about it they're each getting about four gallons of grow space but there's no gap between the pots so they get the whole area to grow so i think they'll be fine in there they've been doing well i've removed several big large leaves off of them already so the light gets through well and it doesn't slow down their growth any and they're just doing great okay now these were just transplanted today and you can see they're a little wilty because i need to water these a little bit yet um what we did is we bought two of these 15 gallon fabric pots and this is three of the northern lights crossed with big bud and these are three of the northern lights now interestingly enough all started to see at the same time grown in basically the same pots but look at how much taller the northern lights and big bud is than the straight northern lights so obviously the bug big bud uh, genetics in this are going to make it a little bit taller a little bit bigger for bigger bud sites on it and I swear to God it looks like it's trying to flower already oh my god don't do that please don't do that okay so anyway hopefully I got them in the dirt quick enough that they're not gonna flower on me but that one does look like it's trying to flower there a little bit all right so over here we got the rest of these are some holy smokes and some other stuff in here some future one and I think there's a cherry pie in here and we got some future one over here and uh, some um, can of tonic over there as well I think there's three of those over there over here we still got some of these big holy smokes left I mean they're they're pushing 40 inches now okay and over here this is a purple kush this big sucker here and then we got like uh, three sour betties over here and I think we've got a cherry pie in here and I think there might be a purple another purple cushion here I'm not sure actually and um, these were all burnt pretty badly by the light but I've turned it down and just feeding on them and you can see they're coming back pretty nicely they're all getting nice and green on me now so I think we'll be okay there so that's what's going on over here now these only have to make it in, these, in this light here until oh, about three weeks and then these are going to go in tent number three okay so I'm going to put these three pots these three big pots and tent number three so that's gonna be what we got going there now these holy smokes here that are really tall like this I mean what are you gonna do if you put them into flower right now they're gonna to be too tall for the tents so what I'm gonna do with these tall holy smokes is they're going in the hundred gallon in tent number one and I'm gonna super crop these things down I'm gonna bend them down to about two or three inches above the surface maybe four and I'm gonna spread all the branches out and I'm gonna super crop them all down spread them out in a fan if I have to and then I'm going to uh, put a scrog on top of it so we'll get a lot of lateral branching and a lot of lateral top branching so that's kind of what I'm going to do on these I'm not going to top them I'm not going to do anything like that I'm just going to finish out what I planned on doing so that's what's going on there and then all these miscellaneous ones that I'm going to have left over from all the cloning I've done will go into tent number two for another miscellaneous grow when the time's right that's about six weeks from now so they're going to be pretty healthy size by the time, I mean, look at these already. So they're going to be pretty good size by the time they go into tent number two for the next part of their grow. So that's what's kind of going on over here. So again, these purple lemonades all in a 20-gallon fabric pot. There's five of them.